first speaker is Hilio Lea, um, who's going to talk about his experiences as both a research student here at Newcastle and uh, as a member of staff uh, as well. So that's a good thing. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I just would like to quickly ask you, is there any Brazilian student from the Science Club board of here? Please raise your hand. Two. Anyone else? Okay. So when I was asked by Green, there's going to be some more coming later. Yeah, 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 for this talk. I prepared to give my perspective <coughs> on Newcastle, but also I tried to give some good advice about how to make the most of your time here and how to enjoy the Newcastle. Uh, and have been, so who am I? I am Elio. I just uh, introduced you with my wife and uh, body-in-law. Uh, I came in 2007 to do a PhD in animal science. I'm from the Minas Gerais state. Yeah, we talked a lot about Rio and Sao Paulo today, uh, but I put my flag of my state there, which is a state very, very important in producing coffee. I grew up in the middle of the coffee farms in Brazil. Uh, my family uh, are academics and farmers in, in Brazil. That's why I decided to, to come to Newcastle for this area. <coughs> and after four years PhD, I, as you can see here, I graduated in 2011. And since then, I've been uh, doing a postdoc, and I shared off their experience in academics, we really had a lot of nice chats and uh, I learned a lot from them. So this is me. Uh, today I've been six years in Newcastle, I experienced a lot of things. I learned a lot of things from Newcastle. Uh, and I kind of know how the, the Brazilians who just arrived feel. Uh, so I'll try to give you some good, interesting advice. Uh, the first one I'm going to talk about is, when you, when you come to to Newcastle, you you realize most of you are coming for the first time how cheap a, a, a fare is. You you see a Ryanair, a jet, you can go for many places in Europe. You become <coughs> amazed. But my first advice is uh, when you go, you try to link the the trips you can do with some conferences in your area. I think it's an important one. Uh, and just an example: in 2006, I was in Brazil in a conference uh, for animal, applied animal genetics. And then I never knew I would come to Newcastle. I made the connection with this professor from Norway. 2007, I came to Newcastle. 2009, I was planning one of my trips. Uh, I said, oh, I'm going to go to Norway. And then I contacted him and said, oh, how do you, you, don't, you should come here, spend a week at the university. You're going to learn new techniques and, and make uh, networking. And so it was my first time I realized how networking is important. So the first advice is travel, experience new places, get to know, but also try to link this to your academic tasks. Uh, you, if you go to the society, academic society websites of your area, you're going to see that there is a lot of conferences going all over the place in different subjects. Many of them today are multidisciplinary. So try this. It's very, very important. Uh, number one, try to be active and engaged. So one of the first things you realize uh, when you come here, you finished the winter in Brazil, June, July, August, you come here, you're facing another winter, but this time is the worst inter winter ever you get your face. So what I felt I was running out of energy all the time, I was eating a lot of chocolates, I was going home 6 p.m., it was already dark, I felt really tired, but the advice is try to be active, try to go to uh, conferences at this university, try to speak to your tutors, if there is a need, or if there is any conference needing uh, people to, to help to organize. And this kind of thing really uh, help you to optimize your experience and, and learn more. But also, of course, don't lose focus. Then first, do what you have to do in your task, your, your modules, everything. And if you have spare time, uh, go around the university and talk to people, network. And this was a conference actually I helped to organize in 2010 uh, at the Human Nutrition Department in my, my building. And it was really, really amazing. You just you learn new skills. And these skills, you, you never think you're going to need them in your life. But then one day, you could be the uh, or leading, organizing person in a uh, world conference. And these skills are going to be useful one day. So the weather. Uh, <laughs> as I said, people start to say, uh, and I met students yesterday. We went to, to, to the park. And they were, oh, it's extremely cold. It's really hard. 
And for the first three years in Newcastle, I was hiding myself in the winter. I was not doing anything. I was always uh, with the, the, the heater on, always feeling very cold. But then one day my friend said, oh, let's go and do winter swimming time off in January. <laughs> I said, oh my God, this could be dangerous. And then I, I checked online, did some research if I would die or not. <laughs> and here's the evidence. I did it January, it was minus three degrees. I did winter swimming. And after that day, Newcastle is always warm for me. <laughs> so the interesting advice is uh, expose yourself. You, you, your body will adapt, <laughs> okay? Uh, your body will adapt. Just if you have a healthy diet, you manage it. Just don't worry about the weather. Uh, and I'll, I'll never forget this day. Uh, Erica, my wife, is there. She didn't want to go. I don't know why. Uh, experiment, experiment new challenges. Uh, Newcastle has the, the Newcastle University, Newcastle City has many societies. Uh, you should try different uh, activities, uh, try new sports, language courses, uh, and don't get intimidated by the challenge you're gonna have in here, okay? This is not Brazil, this is the UK. You have different food, you have uh, different people to interact, and not necessarily uh, everything is gonna be uh, helping you. Some things will cons conspire against you, but sometimes because you don't have that experience, and you try to feel frustrated sometimes, okay? And I know many people, they come here for 12 months or for sometimes 10 years. And they are living in the UK, but their mind is still back in Brazil. Okay, and I think you're just uh, not really optimizing your experience. You are here, things are different, adapt to them, uh, try to read why they're different. You learn a lot about this history and the cultural experiences. And the more you learn, the easier things will become. Right, so this is one of the very important advice here. Uh, again, cultural barriers. Uh, you're going to sometimes meet people of different cultures. You see <coughs> uh, different behaviors, but then don't get intimidated. Uh, just try to be strong and try to be nice to everyone. Try to approach everyone, speak to everyone, because you're just going to learn a lot. And when you go back uh, to Brazil, you'll never be the same person again. Because you met so many people, you just experienced the whole thing, uh, and this makes a whole difference for you. The language. Uh, someone, a friend of mine, told me that in English is an e easy language to learn, but it's ha hard to master. And it's very, very, very true. Because the skills to, uh, the first ones to basic communication, you get them in six months, you can go do the shopping, you open a bank account, do basic things. But then you, when you have to do more deep discussions, you have to uh, do presentations and other things, and then to master them, you have to practice a lot and you have to expose yourself to the language again and again. And uh, what I do, and some what I do some, sometimes people laugh at me. I listen, I listen a lot of BBC radio, but I watch BBC Parliament as well, just to improve my language skills. And I, sometimes the debates are really boring, but I'm there, learning, 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 trying my best. And uh, I think it sometimes works. Try to see Brazil uh, through a different perspective. This is for the Brazilians, the newcomers. There is a very interesting series about Brazil by a BBC broadcaster called Michael Payne. And he did four hours of uh, four episodes, one in the north of Brazil, the second in the northeast, the third in the <coughs> southeast, and the last one in the south. And he explains Brazil in a vision, in a way that we never saw it before. Because we've always been there, we just take things for granted. We don't imagine how rich our country is in many respects. So uh, just buy a DVD, share with your colleague, I think it's about 20 pounds, or YouTube has some bits of it. You can watch them as well. And then you're gonna to try to see your country with different eyes. When you go back, you become a bit more critical about things which are happening there, okay? Uh, optimize your time at Newcastle University. I just 
did a, a print screen here of the Newcastle uh, University events website. There is a lot of public lectures at the university. If you go and check uh, who is talking, sometimes they have very, very famous international uh, speakers in Newcastle University. I just heard, I've attended some amazing, amazing talks in different areas again. Uh, in Brazil, we tend, if you're an engineer, you tend to be focused on engineering, calculus, and everything. And if you grow in a company, you become a manager. You need other skills rather than just only the mathematics. And when you learn this kind of uh, new subject, it helps you for a multidisciplinary view of your subject, and it helps. There is also music and performance, uh, lunch time, so for those who are more artistic or have different ears, it's very uh, interesting, you relax, and it's something we don't have really in Brazil for the lunch time. Uh, you, you go back to work in the afternoon, re-energized. Uh, let me see. But this one, yeah, there is the Hancock Museum here, just uh, next door with some expositions from time to time. They have also research seminars. Try to explore the university as much as you can, and you're gonna see very, very uh, intellectual events that you're gonna be learning from them all the time. Uh, enjoy Newcastle City as a whole. I put here a picture from the Timeside Cinema which is a cinema just uh, in the city center, and it's an independent cinema. They have documentaries, they have interesting movies. And on Friday night for the students, they have free movies. Okay, you can go there, sit, have a cup of tea, be very English, <laughs> and then uh, watch very interesting movies. And it's a, it's a different perspective of the world. You have Polish movies, Germans, different countries, and that's just uh, interesting. So that's it. I just finished with the uh, this last slide. <laughs> stay hungry, stay foolish, keep learning. Okay. Uh, if you are suffering here, if you're uh, homesick, this is for your own good. You will learn a lot <laughs> when you're struggling. Okay, and that this is what I learned in life. When you're struggling, that's when you're really learning. Uh, and never settle. Keep doing everything you can. And this is my uh, email. If you have any questions, I'm happy to hang around here in the post session. I'm here, Erica. There is other PhD students. We've been here for many years. We have a lot of extra tips to give to you. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Any questions? Well, I'll, I'll yeah. probably learn a few things that only bear in mind when I go and live in Singapore in a couple of weeks' time. Yeah. <laughs> can, can I ask you a question before I hand you over to the audience? Yeah, sure. Um, we've heard a number of previous speakers relate on their experiences in Brazil and sometimes give peer advice. If you were giving colleagues from Newcastle um, sort of one bit of advice about, about um, uh, collaborating with, with colleagues in Brazil, do you have a particular thing which you think it's important for us to, to know? It's very, very difficult to talk about Brazil because it's so so big country. Mm -hmm. uh, people, we had to talk about the Recife, yeah. But then when you go down south, the culture is different, people's behavior is different. But as the, we have a consensus today, the Brazilians are really friendly in yeah. general. Yeah. Uh, so just always approach them and ask things for the Brazilians because we, we never deny information. Uh, we are extremely uh, healthy for, for foreigners yeah. in Brazil. Yeah. So we're always friendly and just uh, sometimes you don't have things in the website, you don't have a lot of information, but speak to people, they will help you as much as they can. This is a promise. Yeah. Okay, that's a good, yeah. good bit of advice. Any other questions from the audience? Questions for Ilya?